Hi, I'm Christina Noche for the Palm Beach Civic Association. We had a very exciting week in Palm Beach. New Civic Association directors, award winners, and the State of the Town Address highlighted the Civic Association annual meeting this week. Dr. Mehmet Oz, renowned heart surgeon and host of the Dr. Oz Show, joined the ranks of distinguished directors of the Palm Beach Civic Association Monday during the annual meeting at the Henry Morrison Flagler Museum. I'm over the moon to be a, a newly elected director of the Palm Beach Civic Association. When I came to this event and I saw it packed to the brim with 400 denizens, folks who care a lot about the community, it, it warmed the cockles of my heart. And I gotta say, with strong leadership, Bob Wright, who's just an imaginative leader, sharing a vision, and with a lot of people who want to enact and enable that vision, you've got a group that's ready to rumble. So congratulations to everybody here. In addition, Skip Aldridge, Edward Carter, Jerry Emmett, Suzanne Frisbee, and Richard Clyde join the board. Each year at the annual meeting, the Civic Association presents the Town Beautification Award to a group or individual that has significantly enhanced the beauty of the town of Palm Beach. The newly restored Royal Point Sienna Plaza is the 2018 recipient, and Samantha David from Up Markets accepted the award. Palm Beach Publix manager Andy DeLong and Palm Beach police officers Ryan Burgoon and Anthony DeJesse are the 2018 recipients of the Raymond J. Kunkel Awards, which are given for meritorious service to Palm Beach. Mayor Gail Coniglia was the keynote speaker with her eighth State of the Town Address. It is my pleasure to be with you today to celebrate another year of civic success in the town of Palm Beach. We are strong and we will only get stronger. Let's get fit, Palm Beach. See the Civic Association website for all the stories and videos from the event, including the mayor's address, on our website, palmbeachcivic.org. In other news, hurricane season is right around the corner, and the National Hurricane Center's Code of Uncertainty will shrink this year. That means forecasts should be more accurate, and they will also be able to issue watches and warnings 72 hours out instead of 48 hours, giving more time to execute your hurricane plan. Meanwhile, many Hurricane Irma insurance claims remain unsettled. We're a month and a half away from the next hurricane season, and fewer than 57% of more than 942,000 Hurricane Irma insurance claims worth $8.6 billion have been closed with insurance payments. There is some good news about this year's hurricane season. Florida has been ranked number one for residential building codes out of 18 hurricane prone states in the recently released assessment from the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety. Our building requirements make for stronger houses. Florida scored 95 out of 100, followed by Virginia and South Carolina at 94. See more about the study in This Week in Palm Beach. The president will be in Palm Beach through Sunday, and the first ladies of the United States and Japan toured the Flagler Museum. Leading the tour were Erin Manning, executive director of the museum, and Will Matthews, a museum trustee, great-grandson of Henry Flagler, and a Civic Association director. That's the highlights in Palm Beach. We have much more for you, including Civic Association Director Jeff Green breaking ground on West Palm's first new office space in more than a decade. Plus, Palm Beach is still struggling to attract and keep public safety workers. And where does Palm Beach rank among the nation's wealthiest zip codes? You can see it all in our e-newsletter this week in Palm Beach at palmbeachcivic.org. I'm Christina Noche for the Palm Beach Civic Association. I'm <laughs> sorry.